It's a week away from Election Day, and CBS 17 is your local election headquarters. And with higher prices this year, more voters are telling us the economy is their top issue. In a new poll, poll that we're releasing today in partnership with Emerson College in the Hill, we are digging into what else is driving people to the ballot box. Our Capitol reporter Michael Hyland is live in Raleigh with much more on that and what you found out. Michael. It's clear that higher costs are the main concern for a lot of people, but we also wanted to know more about how some other issues like abortion access and gun laws are weighing on voters, especially in light of the mass shooting that happened here in Raleigh a few weeks ago. From the gas pump to the grocery store, you get reminded about inflation every day. In a new poll we conducted in partnership with Emerson College and The Hill, we found the economy remains the top issue, with 41% of voters saying it's the most important to them. 13% said abortion access is the top issue, and 10% each told us health care and threats to democracy. Spencer Kimball is director of Emerson College polling. What we're not seeing are threats to democracy or abortion access increase in intensity. They've kind of plateaued over the last four or five weeks. 49% of voters told us they trust the Republican Party more to address inflation, compared to 39% saying Democrats. The Republicans were able to take back some of that momentum, and we'll see in these next week or so if the Democrats are able to stabilize their base and get out their vote. On Tuesday, Democrats, including State Representative Wesley Harris, who's an economist, said Republicans have not outlined a clear plan to reduce inflation. You don't like Democratic solutions? That's fine. Put forward your own solution, and then we can can go from there. Republican Senate candidate Ted Budd recently addressed that. You can't get away with these anti-energy policies and try not to hurt the American consumer. Following the mass shooting last month in Raleigh, we also asked voters about gun laws in light of Democrats renewing their calls for various changes. 40% of voters said they support banning assault weapons, compared to 33% who said no. 47% said they support arming teachers in schools, compared to 35% who said no. The only change that got majority support is implementing a red flag law, which allows a judge to temporarily remove someone's gun when they're deemed to be a threat to themselves or others. 57% support that, compared to 22% who are opposed. We also found 48% of voters told us that the Supreme Court's decision to overturn Roe v. Wade makes them more likely to vote, compared to 44% who said it makes no difference. That's actually down compared to when we asked that same question in September, and at that point, 59% of people told us it would make them more likely to vote. Live in Raleigh, Michael Highland, CBS 17 News. All right, Michael.